Fair High, Monday, April 12th, 2021. Did I make it? I don't, oh, Khalil, oh, there he is. He is so awesome. Wait a second. The Nationals are in Florida. Oh, oh. Oh, good for her. My friend made it to the Nationals. Oh, awesome. Gymnastics. Her name is Shims, Shima, but we call her Shims. Shim. Anyway, she made it to the Nationals. That is so cool. Anyway, I've said anyway like six times now. I'm just looking at the photo of Lillian and I, Oklahoma. I love it so much. Who's here? What's happening? What's going on? Julie, Luce, and William Lindemann. Hi, my peeps. John DeFazio, how are you, sir? Let's see. I can't see me at all. Oh, now I'm looking at you, your names. Julie, Luce, how are you? What's it like? It's Monday morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Julie, do you feel like popping on and saying hi? If you do. I miss you in our mornings. It's just not the same. So it is Monday here on 11.11 with Jenna. And you know, we meander. So we're meandering just for a little while today. I have lots to do. I'm recording tomorrow with David Long. I have to learn my songs. Great, John. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, I just adore this person. <laughs> Julie Luce. Hi. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Thanks, Dave. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jenna. Oh, it's just your voice right now. I know. Am I back? <laughs> Back and better than ever. Oh, yeah, right. Thanks so much. At least one yeah. mysterious person. I'm not sure who they are. Hello, mystery person. A mystery person. person. Gotta love your mystery people. Besides yeah. besides um, William Linderman and maybe John DeFazio. There's, and you, there's one other person. Oh, it's Grace. Oh. Yeah, your mom's person. there. Hi, Mama Grace. Mama Grace. Yeah, very nice. Oh, <laughs> Lee oh. Cooper and we care, right? <laughs> Hi, Lee. Have fun getting, is this your first haircut in a long time? How exciting. So we're in the Carolinas, we're in Michigan, we're in Tennessee and California. Maybe, maybe Pennsylvania? What a chop liver? What do you chop liver? I don't know. Are you? I've never considered myself a food. Do you consider yourself, ever consider yourself a food? Julie? I don't think so. No. Don't do that, Lee. You're not, you're not. I'd rather be a, I'd rather be a flower. Ah, yeah. What kind of a flower? Um, I love lilac. So lilac would be a nice flower. Daffodils are very cheerful. Um, so that would be nice. I love lilacs too. And when I lived in Cal, oh, you're in Pennsylvania. Well, because your name wasn't there, Lee. Lee's thinking we didn't mention him. Your, his name wasn't there when we were first mentioning names, was it, Julie? Right. No, it wasn't. That's why we said, who was the mystery person? Maybe. I don't think it was Lee. But yeah. now that, but Lee, it didn't. In the very beginning, it showed William Lindemann, John DeFazio, and Julie Luce as the three uh -huh. people watching. And then there was a fourth. Perhaps you were the fourth. Anyway, I love lilacs. And when I moved to California, I wanted to grow lilacs and I realized they it didn't get cold enough where I was, mm. but I had a neighbor that had lilacs and she would put ice cubes at the base of the oh, lilac wow. uh -huh. for, for months. Cause then you, you tease the tree. Very and creative. And then there would be lot, and she'd get, you know, like four or five and then, it, but I keep thinking, why am I not planting a lilac? But I have a woman here in town that brings them by. Oh, how they're, nice. They're just my That's very so favorite. Nice. I love uh -huh. to see 
in Michigan for lilac and then in California for lilac. So I used to time my trips that way. That's awesome. I, well, I, did, I better get some gigs in. <laughs> when is when is lilac season in California? Is it June? Like now. <laughs> oh, is it now? oh, it's earlier. Yeah. Right. It's early. Right. So it's mm -hmm. now. So I missed. And then I do Michigan and then even in New York, like the cherry mm -hmm. blossoms and the magnolias are blooming here right now. Oh, pretty. But magnolia bloom in the Bay Area, like in February. Mm -hmm. Bye, Lee. Have a great hair. Do they wash your hair and do everything and blow it dry and style it and stuff? William. Oh. So drink lots of water. Just lots chill. of water. Sorry, William. Well, you're in the, he's in Pfizer capital. He's in Kalamazoo, right? Where Pfizer is made. So yeah. maybe an extra. Oh, that's I interesting. spilled hot water on my leg. Oh, that's not good. Throw some cold water on there quickly. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so how Balance was your weekend, it out. Really loose? I'm actually, my weekend was very nice. I'm trying to think uh, exactly what I did. Oh, Saturday was that little Zoom the short zoom baby Hours. shower so no we didn't play any games but it was it was kind of like a little family reunion <laughs> Joe McBride yeah. is here Julie oh nice yeah. hi Joe wow that's Why awesome back hanging out with me we got some oh, Texas got Texas going on Joe McBride you guys check him out I think it's www.joemcbride.com or just go Joe McBride pianist, YouTube, and have fun. Uh -huh. Or check Facebook. <laughs> yeah, or Facebook, because you because you do a lot of live streams too. Joe, thank you, man. Oh, I love him. That's cool. So you didn't play games? No, we didn't play games. It was just a real short, they only did about 45 minutes. So she opened up her gifts and, you know, visited with everybody. Oh. And then in the, my mail hadn't come yet, but she had sent, the baby's middle name will be Rose. And so they sent a tea towel that had like the little flower on it and a little note medallion that said, thank you for gifting our, our little flower. So that was cute. So that came in the afternoon. And then yesterday, um, my neighbor and I went to um, church outside. And so we took our chairs and then we, you know, spaced around and, um, Got to be outside for church service and that was really nice and then we went to um, a mexican restaurant pretty close to the house and sat outside on the patio and i think we spent at, at least two hours out there just chatting and <laughs> so it was nice fun did you have a margarita absolutely <laughs> a tamarindo margarita was and that's what? really good that's it's got the candy it's sweeter kind of with the uh -huh. sour so that was good joe mcbride said looking good ladies hey, oh, that's sweet of him <laughs> anytime brother anytime uh -huh. he's so fun and always so positive i just i love listening to him mm -hmm. how fun so margaritas and then then you go home and take a nap uh, no, no, no naps. If I was to take a nap, I would be done. You might as well just let me sleep till the next morning. <laughs> and, so. and why is it that Mondays you're not in school? Are you so they, they've done, um, we have an advisory. So at nine o'clock in a half an hour or so, we'll be on um, in advisory groups, like homeroom groups and touch base with the kids all the teachers have homerooms. And then um, that's from nine to 9.30. And then from 10 to 11, um, I'm available for any tutoring if there's anyone that has, you know, things that they're stuck on. And then somebody else will do it from 11 to 12. And then I think there's another gal that's gonna do it. But so all the teachers are available on Monday. There's meetings, um, department meetings and different things that are going on or if they need to touch base with parents or, um, IEPs or something that might be going on so and then on Tuesdays and Wednesdays we have a group that will come in and be on site um, this week we'll get eighth graders for the first time we only had seventh graders last week and then the other kids are online so we're we have both in person and online at the same time and then they switch and the kids that were there Tuesday Wednesday will be home Thursday Friday and the other kids come 
So my uh, my book trying to keep track of who's who's where when is quite interesting. <laughs> and and do the kids? They maintain the schedule quite, I mean, they know. Well, we'll, we'll find out, but you know, they're adapting. They're just so excited right now to see other kids. So that's really nice. You know, they've got, they can check out a basketball at lunch and with their masks on, go out to the basketball court and, you know, interact a little bit. My, um, another coworker and I, we just walk the perimeter of the basketball court, try to <laughs> get a little few steps in, but um, yeah, they're, they're happy. We're happy to see kids. They're happy to see kids. Although we see more online because you don't have to wear a mask online. And when you're in the classroom, you're wearing your mask. So it's like, okay, who are you again? Right. And I bet you, if, if you've known them, you, you're seeing them grow. Like, wow. Oh, yes. Like so the ones that were seventh graders last year that are eighth graders, not all of them are coming back. And then the seventh graders, we don't know them at all. So that's a, a little bit different, but my uh, niece, I should have her on sometimes. She, you know, she's been teaching since right. They went back in September and then, or uh -huh. I don't know, and then uh, like did all that stuff. But um, she had over two hundred students herself Amazing. on Zoom. So when this all first started, she didn't know half the class because no. they were incoming students, and she did all these different. Um, get to know you kind uh, of things and yeah you know would have them make stuff at home make can you make cookies can you do this and show each other just so that they could interact in those different ways that it was really I think an innovative uh -huh. way time for her to, to right. think of ways to and then to get to know them too uh -huh. right you know yeah. them only by this box and, then and hopefully you know, she learned yeah, hopefully she learned from you about the really good note taking and the journal that you do for all of your shows, right? So she should have have all those notes written down on on her students. I need I need a new book. I have to go back and get a new book. Oh, I should have done that last night. I went to CVS last night. You know how you yeah. do, do you do the thirty percent off at CVS? No, uh, I haven't been in a CVS for a while. So you can go, but you can do a drive through. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because they have, you can order anything from uh -huh. the store and then you can pick it up in the pharmacy drive through Very cool. Yeah. So you can say, yeah. I have, but we get these 30% coupons. Uh -huh. And then when you buy something, like say the week before I bought something and you get $10 off and $4 off, it's like going to Vegas. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I bought, my mom needed a, a blood pressure cuff thing not uh -huh. the stuff, but around her arm and mm -hmm. I went and I had this coupon and this coupon and 30% coupon and it was like like less than half of what I would have paid for it if I did very have nice it. yeah it made me happy I'm yeah a, you know I, I'm a I'm a good I'm dom I'm very domestic as someone pointed out in the last couple of days uh-huh so and have learned to be a, a good shopper I'm as, good, yeah, as, I am good yeah. shopping. Uh -huh. We I, call that more bang for the buck. Yeah. Hey, Rob, Morocco. Oh, last night, that was so cool. Jay was like, I said, Rob, Morocco is like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I know. <laughs> so Rob, you know, even though people, we don't know people that know people, they know the Rob Morocco song. This is very true. Knowing more what's happening there. And what's oh my gosh, weather? she's yard. Um, our weather's very nice. We might be in that, I hate to say it, in the 80s right now. So it's cool, um, high 50s, but it might warm up to like low 80s today. Wow. So it's been 70s and very nice. So Very nice. I well, I just it. wanted to say hi. I don't want to. Hi, thank you. I'm grateful that you popped on. and Absolutely. I loved what yeah. you said the other night. Thank you very much. And I'm so grateful to my cousin. Helen, for introducing you. Hi, me too. Me too, for sure. Yeah. Created here All right. in the world. So, yeah. Well, everyone have a wonderful, blessed day, and we'll see you tonight. Good night, Julie. <laughs> good night. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Jay's a, he's a good, great musician and a character. Someone's asking me, what am I wearing? This is, I call this my 
everything in the kitchen sink like this. Because it does, it has plates on it. And I think there's even a little grater. There's cups, a pitcher. I can't remember where. Yeah, is that the grater right there? Yeah, there's the cheese grater right there. I should put it on Lily and Pearl, although it would be really loud. But I don't walk around going like this, but when she shakes, just her one little charm makes noise. Rob, is there more snow? I hate to ask. Julie Luce. Oh, I didn't even. Julie, this is for you. It's the long thing. They, these guys stay late. Just like Julie. Julie is always there with me <clears throat> to, to wash the glasses at the end of the party. We need to have another party. Hmm. So William, you get to lay low today. Chill, chill out. I hope so. It missed you and will now warm up a bit. Oh, good. Yeah, Zoe and the snow. I'm sure you, you dig a little area for Zoe. I'm sure you shovel it out. Cool, William. So tonight, meditation. And tomorrow morning, I will make a smoothie. I made some celery juice today already. It's the juicer's loud. It's loud and then, and then you have to go clean it, which is cool. Yeah, juicing is a lot of work, but some days I don't do it. Like there are times where I just go, oh, I'm just gonna have a little egg and toast with Grace. Grace and I got some new furniture yesterday. We got a baker's rack in the kitchen. It looks super cool. And we'll be doing, we actually, speaking of baking, on Patty. Where's Patty? I better make sure she's okay. I better, I better mess, message Patty. You can't. That's a shame. We're just checking on you. Are you okay? Question mark. See our peeps. So um, I will be doing some movement on Wednesdays. We will do the show from Grace's kitchen on Wednesday because we'll have the baker's rack and a bigger oven. And it's just, and it's, it's just as bright. No, it's brighter in there, I think. So I'll bring I'll bring the studio. Have studio will travel. That's Wednesday. Well, Tuesday night, Dr. Andrew Rader will be here. Wednesday morning. Patty. Wednesday night. Probably more Patty. This Thursday, you guys. I need to get some more lemon. Oh, I know. Thursday morning, we sort of chill, but Thursday night. Coming this Thursday, lives will be changed forever. 1111 with Jenna presents Corona Roki International Limited. Bring your best, just stay home. State of the Art Studios, the Lily Pad, broadcasting from space and around the world to each and every home. 11 11 with Jenna. That's right, that's right. It's the third Thursday of the month. Corona Roki International Limited. And so far, Jay Franklin, who you heard serenading us last night, 
will be here and then Joanne F. Henry, but not the chair. Not the chair. Oh, I have a Mac OS update. Uh-oh. Your computer restarted to install these updates. What does that mean? What does that mean? I guess I'm updated. But I did read about the new update, but that's on the phone, right? I don't know these things. So Thursday and then Friday morning, Armando Ortega, I've missed him. It's been like, we just keep two ships passing the night. And then Friday night display and share. Where is she? There she is. Yo, share, what up, girl? And then Saturday morning, one more Saturday morning with Jeff Metzger. Saturday night, one more Saturday night with Carrie Lambert. Sunday morning, we chill, smooth into the Sunday. Sunday night, Musician Square Table. Monday morning, meandering. That's where we are right now. I'm meandering. I'm happy that you're here. And I'll stick around a little bit longer. And if anybody wants to pop on, you're more than welcome to come say hey. Joanne's chair will debut next week. It seems, um, yeah, I know. I I know there are, I just don't, I didn't know it happened. Your computer res restarted to install these updates. So then can I close? Does that mean I can close? I'll wait till I talk to my, my tech guru. Hmm. Huh. Well, when you can't comment on Facebook, um, that's because, are you on Facebook? You're on Facebook. You don't have to be friends with me to comment, I don't think. Oh, poor little girl. Yeah, but she, you put those finger, the gloves on her. Lillian, like, on those. Mom, get these off of my feet right now. They're craziness. Um, Lillian right now is sitting for this. What's the temperature? She's thinking, or he's thinking, wow, it's 48 degrees. Lillian is wrapped up in a blanket next to a space heater. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, Jay's really cool. So Jay will be there. Um, no, unfortunately, Joanne's chair does not debut, I believe, until she doesn't receive it until the 24th of April is the newest date. So soon come, as they say in Jamaica, man, there goes my chair. These flowers, you guys, tomorrow will be three weeks. They're like nuclear or something, or, oh, that's one of those words, like realtor, nu nuclear, is that how they say it? Nuclear, are those nuclear plants? It makes a nice little headdress type of thing, and there's my, yep. So anyway, this is what happens on Mondays. We just sort of meander. Lillian got new treats yesterday, duck. She got some I don't eat duck, but Lillian will eat duck. Maybe I would, if I didn't know. Oh, I, I, you know, I've never seen it. I mean, this is like cray, dude. That's, and Patty's flowers look gorgeous. I bought my mom a flower of the month at our local grocery store on, that's the one thing I, I've learned to do on that Friday, Wacky Friday, what is it, and Thanksgiving. I never did that. But my mom's friend would buy her this flower of the month on that day. And apparently it's like, instead of it being $120, it's $75. And you get to go pick up your bouquet of flower of the month. So I think Grace needs some flowers because it's already the middle of the month. We better get our flowers. And they usually, they have carnations. They'll usually have this bouquet and the bouquet is worth, I don't know, $12, let's say. 
and then they'll have carnations and you can switch out like, you know, I'd rather have three bunches of carnations for $15, pay the difference and walk out with, I look like the queen, you know, I look like, well, my mom's the queen. I just look like, look at what I did for the queen. I got her all these flowers. Right, Mama Grace? So we could do that. Melanie Damore, hi. I miss you so much. Melanie Damore, what up, girl? Reducing a lot of meat in your diet. No lamb, goose, or duck. Goose. Don't eat goose poop. Don't let your dogs eat goose poop. No lamb. No, they're too cute. Oh, man. I miss you too. And I just got word that I was planning to be in Seattle on the 11th to the 16th-ish. And that's who's... Um, daughter is in the Nationals Gymnastics in Florida. So they might be traveling. They'll know this weekend. I'll pay for any ticket changes you might have, but don't do anything yet. All good. So now I, now I got to figure out, you know, hanging out in the 510. That might mean, oh, I know. That may mean I do a little um, head down the coast a bit to Cambria. Or do you say Cambria? 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 We got to do, Melanie, we have to plan an 11-11, at least two. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Rob and Carol... I will be sending you a PDF today of some logo action. It's happening. And then that means we'll have to do a particular, oh, I've already got, Melanie, I have a, a logo set for you for your shirts. So I have to figure that out. Like if I just make one special one for you, You're going to love it. Has anyone seen um, the, you know, the Zoom logo? If you have to postpone Seattle, you may plan more singing. Mm. Maybe, but it's already kind of, I maybe could do some more recording, but gig wise, there's not that much going on and I don't really need to have that much going on. Yeah. Yeah. T-shirts, mugs. What else would you guys like? What kind of swag, as they say in the biz? A dress? Ooh, cute dress might be fun. Jenna, they're like, Jenna, we don't all wear dresses. I know, but, but it's, some of us wear dresses. You can wear them at home. They're very comfortable. Yeah, t-shirts with logos, 11-11 with Jenna. And Lily and Pearl, excited, it's happening. So tonight, meditation and, and what? That's it, that's all I know, kids. I'm not, I'm not like, like, you know, I'm excited to go outside for a WALK with my dog. And then I'm rehearsing today with David. That's that's kind of on my head right now. I have like 18 songs that I'll be recording tomorrow. And then we pick the best of the 18. I think it's 18. I'm gonna go count them. So, all right, I think I'm hungry. I'm going to go. I made my celery juice. That's already been, 
that's gone. And now I'm gonna go make some food with Mama Grace and figure out the next move. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today on 1111. Thank you, Melanie, for checking in. I miss you and I can't wait to see you. It's gonna be so cool. And Julie Luce, maybe we'll, oops, we'll figure out meditation. Okay. What would you like, what's the subject of meditation tonight for you, William? If you wanna post that or send me a link. What did you send me the other day? Oh, feeding the baby goats. Too cute. How many was it? 10 or 20? How to feed 20 baby goats at one time? Really neat. All right, kids. Oh, I have an idea. I'll tell you about it later. But it's, it's on a location thing. So the Tuesday night show with Dr. Andrew Rader. Guess where that will be? <laughs> oh, Rob! Whose idea was that? You know, there was during the dot com in San Francisco, there was a restaurant that was killing burritos. Everyone went there for burritos and they were just blowing up. And they did a thing where if you got a tattoo, they're advertising their burritos, you would get burritos for life. So people did it. And then they closed. Crickets. So in answer to your idea, Rob Morocco, crickets. I could, I would have someone do a live, like a, henna thing yeah sure i have jennamamina.com tattoos i did I have one left it's on my refrigerator people used to come up to me at the show and they'd have them on my forehead it's for two thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars yes i was gonna say yes yeah yes i would do it Totally. I would do it probably. Yeah, I would totally do that. Mm -hmm. And I would want a little, I would want Lillian's paw next to it or her little face, just like little tiny Lillian pearl face. Yeah, I'd do that. Now do we have your attention? We need a global viral video. Maybe huge money could be raised. Maybe we could get 40,000. Help Jenna fix her ceiling. Oh, the ceiling. Didn't tell you about the ceiling, did I? Grace, can we talk about the ceiling? We have a, a leak in the ceiling from my bathroom downstairs. So that 20,000 would come in handy right now. When, can we, when should I get the tattoo? When can I get the tattoo? Just, you know, since you know so much, you might as well, you know, hear about all the home stuff. Not all of it. Kitchen sink. Kitchen sink is cool. Kitchen's awesome. You guys, my house looks so cool right now. So awesome. Except in the ceiling. Oh, 
yeah, Cher. What if Cher could be there when I get the tattoo? Ooh, what if Cher got one too? What if we all started getting them? I have to design the correct 11, 11. Ooh, I have a designer who could design my tattoo. She's the bomb shit, guys. She's the bomb shit. Oh, it's not, it's, it's not the roof. It's the, um, it's the, my bathroom it's the bathtub is right above my mother's bedroom. And I had scenes of in the middle of the night last night, I had scenes of Frankie and Grace when Frankie was tie dyeing in the bathtub upstairs. Yeah, I thought that might happen. So, Grace, we're going to move your bed. <laughs> oh, gosh. Isn't that awful? All right. I guess I better go make some food so I can go move the bed. Okay, kids. Let's we'll talk about this tattoo thing. I think it's an interesting idea because I'm curious about my software update. I need to talk to my tech guru friend and... If you're still here and still can't comment, we need to figure that out. Maybe you should just jump on the Zoom. All I know, you Zoom all day long. We don't want that to happen. Okay, see you guys tonight. Have a wonderful day. Happy Monday. Happy, happy, happy Monday. What if you we raised, what if we raised money for your house, Julie? I hope you all have a beautiful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, be nice. Mama Grace, I'll see you in a little bit. Thoughtful thoughts, teachable words. Oh, I won't say that. Terrific heart, have a terrific heart. I love you too. See you later. Love hard.